I'm Jamie Craggs, the Aquarium Curator at the Horniman Museum and Gardens, and I'm working on sexual reproduction of corals behind the scenes. Project Coral started in 2012 with a really simple question. Could we get corals to reproduce in a really planned and predictable way in aquarium environments? The majority of corals reproduce over just a couple of nights a year, and this annual spawning event is closely linked to the lunar cycle. So the sun has set and the moon is rising, and they start slowly to begin with, and then there's this explosion of eggs and sperm being released into the water. Scientific opinion says that there are a number of parameters that work at a progressively finer scale to trigger the coral to reproduce in this really small window of time. And what we've done is we've taken data from lots of different sources, NASA satellites, probes that we've put out in the reef, and we use a computer program to control all the environment in our aquariums behind the scenes. We can replicate the seasonal day length change, changes in water temperature over the year. Even the lunar cycle can all be replicated here in London. So as we build up to spawning, we're working in darkness using red head torches and we're observing the corals. Just as they're ready to go, all the pumps get turned off and they release these egg sperm bundles perfectly vertically and we capture those in special containers. We collect those, bring them down to the lab and we in essence perform in vitro fertilization creating test tube baby corals. After fertilization the cells start dividing. It takes about four days for the embryos to develop and this small larvae to form. This larvae swims around in the ocean, but in our aquariums in this circumstance. Following settlement, they'll form a tiny primary polyp, a baby coral. And then over time that grows and gets larger and larger, grows into that hard structure that builds the reef itself. So one of the things we're interested in is whether we can produce hardier corals during these reproductive events. Corals that can withstand some of the future conditions that climate change is putting on them. Initially, the goal of Project Coral was to trigger our corals to spawn at the same time as Singapore and Australia. We're now breaking these natural cycles to investigate ways to manipulate and increase the number of spawning events each year. This is really important for climate change research and our ability to rebuild coral reefs in the wild. While we can study reproduction here in London, we want our research to have real world value and be able to apply it out in the field. We're using the knowledge that we're gaining here to help restore and rebuild reefs. Working in partnership with Florida Aquarium, the University of Derby, and also the University of Newcastle. <laughs>